If you've ever come across the term UTR, you might have wondered what it means. Well, don't worry because you've come to the right place as today we're going to explain everything you need to know. So, let's dive right in, shall we? Hello and welcome to or welcome back to our channel if you are a loyal subscriber. And if you haven't subscribed, why not? Make sure to hit that button so you keep up to date with all the great information about starting a business in the UK, delivered to you in easy, bite-sized chunks. My name is Ian from Your Company Formations, where we make forming your company as simple as pie. In today's video, we'll be discussing the all-important concept called UTR. UTR stands for Unique Tax Reference. It's a 10-digit number issued by HM Revenue and Customs, that's HMRC, to identify individual taxpayers and businesses in the United Kingdom. Think of it as a unique identifier assigned to each taxpayer. The UTR is an essential component that comes to dealing with your taxes and interacting with HMRC. Whether you're self-employed, a freelancer or a business owner, you need a UTR to ensure you comply with tax regulations. Now, some of the reasons you may need to use your UTR include Online tax filing. HMRC uses the UTR to track file records and process your returns. Communicating with HMRC. HMRC will ask you to provide the number so they can trace your business records and respond to your queries. Registering for tax purposes. To register for value-added tax, company tax or construction industry scheme, that's the CIS, you must provide your unique tax reference number. Tax planning. Your accountant or tax consultant uses your UTR to access your tax records with HMRC and manage your tax obligations with HMRC. Now, other reasons you may need to provide your corporate UTR are changing your tax accounting period, contacting HMRC for company-related issues, filing tax and VAT returns, Informing HMRC about the changes to your registered details or company structure. Informing HMRC if your business is dormant. Paying company tax and VAT. Paying your employees. And registering for company tax, VAT and PAYE. Now you might be wondering how to obtain a UTR. Well, the process varies depending on your individual circumstances. Uh, if you're self-employed or have formed a company, uh, maybe you used one of our great Your Company Formation packages, then HMRC will send you a UTR automatically when you register for self-assessment tax returns or company formation. This is commonly received in the post within three to five weeks on average. If you haven't received one or if you're starting a new business, you will need to contact HMRC to obtain your UTR. However, if you do have a service through yourcompanyformations.co.uk, please reach out to one of our fantastic support team who will personally help you in either locating your UTR or requesting a reminder to be sent directly from HMRC. However, if you are self-employed and do not operate under a limited company, you may need to apply for your UTR number online. Visit the HMRC website and complete the relevant application form for tax self-assessment. If you prefer a hard copy, you can fill it out and it typically takes around 10 days for addresses within the UK and 21 days for addresses abroad to receive the unit tax reference number. Now, let's clear up a common confusion. Your personal unique taxpayer reference number, your UTR, and your company's UTR are not the same. Your personal UTR is issued when you file a tax return or self-assessment. On the other hand, HMRC issues a UTR number to your company after its incorporation for tax purposes. Now, it's important to know that the UTR is confidential and unique to each taxpayer or business. Sharing your UTR with others is generally not recommended unless you have a legitimate reason such as appointing an accountant or tax advisor who requires it to handle your tax affairs or employers or financial institutions that require it for legitimate use. Remember, accuracy is crucial when providing your UTR on various forms and documents. 
Make sure to double check the digits and avoid any errors to prevent complications with your tax affairs. Lastly, it's worth mentioning that if you lose or forget your UTR, you can contact HMRC to retrieve it. They'll assist you in recovering your UTR and ensuring that you have the necessary information to fulfill your tax obligations. And there you have it. We've covered the basics of what a UTR is, why it's important, how to obtain it, and its usage. Understanding this concept is essential for anyone navigating the UK tax system. We hope you found this video helpful in clarifying the meaning of a UTR. If you have any more questions, or if there are any other topics that you'd like us to cover, then please let us know in the comments below, or if you don't wish to make a comment, drop a thumbs up on this video so that we know that we are covering the topics that you're interested in. Until next time, my name's Ian from Your Company Formations. Thanks for watching.